And so I think if we're going to talk about black sexuality, we also had to talk about religion and spirituality and integration. From as far back as I can remember, sex was perverted. Even before I was sexually active, the world presented sex in a way that was either objectifying or exploitive. I think religion and spirituality can be a key factor in um, thinking about black sexuality and in particular thinking about the ways in which people of color view um, sexuality, their own bodies, um, their behaviors, their proclivities, um, and the way in which, quite frankly, that is perceived by the larger dominant society. Canada, and uh, one of the places we stopped was a porn shop because I wanted to get some porn. I wanted uh -huh. to get videos, and friends are like, "Wait, what are you doing? You can't walk in there." I'm like, "Yeah, you can. Just don't <laughs> touch anything. You're fine." <laughs> I said, "Okay, she's a woman of God. She likes me because I'm a man of God. Clearly, she's not going to want me to compromise, right? Then she's naked. <laughs> like, you know what I mean?" <laughs> And so any straight men that's free uh -huh. with their uh, sexuality will let a woman put a finger in their anus. So um, I had to reteach myself how to love a man for mm -hmm. uh, his richness that God put in him. Mm -hmm. And um, I can say today that I, I love guys. I love you guys. You know, and your pixie sticks, <laughs> your wood, your big stick, whatever. <laughs> Even being very young, like I've always did my own thing. So if everybody else was doing X, but I wanted to do W. W was what it was. Mm -hmm. So, um, but there's definitely been a, an, an evolution where I definitely feel more comfortable in my own skin and I definitely don't have a problem with expressing what it is that I want sexually. 